Today we're going to show you step by step how to turn this raw curly redwood bar top into a work of art. Stay tuned as we show you the tricks of the trade of pouring epoxy onto a wood surface. Remember, you can always get this beautiful wood at OregonBurls.com. Hey you guys, uh, this is Greg the Burl Hunter and who are you? I'm Luke. I know he's wearing Stone Cold Countertop t-shirt, however, he is a Burl Hunter also. <laughs> <laughs> but we love these guys, we're oh, yeah. using their product and um, we are getting ready to seal coat this curly redwood countertop. Um, a friend of mine wants uh, a beautiful countertop and I said I hate I have just the thing so we're gonna see we've got this sanded down to 220 and we're gonna mix this up uh, Luke let's uh, let's pour like 24 ounces uh, and I'm gonna mix this thing up and see how beautiful this wood really is We're using the sealer and gap filler on this. Uh, this has 15 minute working time. Make that all nice and dirty. You always want to scrape the edges to make sure there's no right. unmixed epoxy. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So what we're gonna do is, uh, since this has a live edge on it, we're gonna uh, turn this up. And one thing that you should always do before you start uh, chopping things in or sealing things is prime your brush. And we have a 15 minute working time on this. So we're gonna seal these edges, because there's lots of them. Nooks and crannies. All right, beautiful. Lay this puff down. And as it soaks in, you can go over that again. Am I letting it go over the edge here? Mm -hmm. This is how you make redwood come alive. Hey you guys, uh, we're on day two of, uh, of pouring this curly redwood countertop. And 
I'm just gonna do a single coat seal on the bottom. Not that anybody's gonna see the bottom of this, but it's always good to, to seal the bottom. So we're gonna get started. Beautiful, that's right at three. I like that. Okay, three, so six. I'm gonna mix it really slow so I don't introduce air to the epoxy. Um, when you're doing your seal coats and you're putting on your first coat and your second coat, it really doesn't matter because they're thin coats. Uh, but, and I, it wouldn't really matter on the bottom side either, but since I have a little pocket to fill, I've got to uh, be very careful. All right. That's looking pretty clear. It's got a few bubbles in it, but that will come out in the torching. All right. What I'm doing is I'm just mixing it right now. Uh, making sure that I got everything. And I don't want to go over the edges on this. Um, I'm just sealing the wood. Even this uh, thick epoxy uh, soaks in on the red. Don't want to heat it up too much or you'll get a lot of little, little bubbles. I don't have uh, one of Mike's uh, stone coat trowels, so I made my own out of plexiglass. I'm just doing this a whole bunch to make sure that it's fully mixed. Yeah, overnight it, it uh, cures. You want 24 hours before you do anything with it, but then seven days before you can buff it. And 30 days till you have full scratch resistant, hardness, heat resistant. Uh, we use stone coat countertop epoxy uh, because I've found that so far it is the best uh, and I love those guys over at stone coat because uh, they're just really cool people um, and so if you need uh, anything that looks like this we have the wood they have the epoxy and uh, that was really quick to to do all this uh, we poured uh, three ounces per square foot uh, and this is after we seal coated it three times so seal coat it three times then do your flood coat and um, then walk away when we start the install we have to figure out how to demolition the old countertop a lot of times you'll run into weird things, but this one actually came out really well. Taking off the underlayment. Exposing the corbels, it gives us an opportunity to bring in the new and place it right into place. Fits like a glove. So here you go, the finished product. A beautiful curly redwood countertop with stone coat epoxy on top of it. Amazing piece of art. 
Hey, this is Greg. Thank you so much for watching our video. Just click below on the subscribe button and then also ring the bell so that you'll be notified every single time we put a video on.